Hello, everybody, and welcome to Global Talent Link Hatchet by Gary Paulson. This is session one. All right. So getting to know you, what is your name? What is one thing you are interested about? What do you love reading about? And what do you love about reading? And why did you choose Hatchet? So my name is Christine. I've been a teacher for 14 years. I'm a mom. I've got two little ones. One thing that's interesting about me, oh, I am terrified of spiders. Terrified. What do you love about reading? I have always, ever since I can remember, I have always loved getting lost in books, I guess. I, I love that I can travel the world simply sitting in my living room reading a book. And Hatchet, I've always wanted to read Hatchet, and I love that I did actually read this book because it's one that'll be on my book list forever as an educator. It's, it's certainly an adventure book, and it makes you want to rethink your the way that you go about life and, and putting our life on pause and sort of slowing down a little bit. So I, I'm happy that I chose Hatchet, and I hope you do too. One of the hardest things for my students is understanding what they are reading. So these signposts are hints, they're clues along the way while you're reading to sort of help you understand more that you are reading. The goal while you're reading is to be active. We want you to think. We want you to question. We want you to wonder about. We want you to notice, right? When something is said over and over and over again, there's a reason why the author is doing that. They want you to hone in on that detail and remember it for the now or for the later. So these are excellent ways. We've got words of the wiser. So what is the lesson? There's always a lesson to be taught. Contrast and contradictions. Why is the character doing that? Right? The character might say one thing and do another. Why? You want to ask yourself that. Aha moment. It's that how might this change things that <gasps> the climax of the story. Again and again, I just talked about memory moment. When your character has a flashback, when there is a memory that is being brought up, there is a significance in that. There's an important reason why. You have to pick up on those things. It'll help you relate to the character, the setting, or the story. In tough questions, you want to ask your author questions, figuratively speaking, of course, but you want to wonder why is the character doing that? Why is this happening in this setting? Why is the plot taking that turn? What do we benefit from with this? So here's our summary of Hatchet, right? Uh, Brian is our main character and his parents are divorcing. He is on a plane to go spend the summer with his dad in the Canadian wilderness. Um, the pilot on this two-person plane has a heart attack and the plane crashes. So I, I won't go into most of those details you'll read about in the text. So Brian survives. Okay, and he has to put everything that he knows about life behind him and sort of and survive, right? I would try my hardest, but I don't know how well I would do in, in the wilderness, to be honest with you. So this is Gary Paulson. He's 74, and he is a very popular young person's author, okay? Um, he has written many, many texts. For, for kids specifically to enjoy, and many at the end of this, many that are sequels to Hatchet. So if you love Hatchet, there's a series of books that you can read from Gary Paulson. He's a relatable author, right? He's one of those authors that as kids, it's almost like a kid wrote it. Like, how did he know this about being a kid? So Brian Robeson, he is our main character. He's the only character through most of the book. He's 13. Right? That is the age group of students that I teach, so it's definitely a text that they can relate to strictly for age purposes. He's from New York. There's an affair that happens. Um, his parents are divorcing. He's trying to fit in in life in general and then certainly with his survival mode. Uh, you, you're probably going to relate to a lot of what Brian goes through in this book. Here are some vocabulary words you want to familiarize yourself with before you read the text. Um, take a look, do they have anything in common? Wallow, twinge, throb, throttle, swarm, wince, transmission, that's a technical term specifically for the plane in this, in this text, altitude specific to this text. Popular themes, themes are a life lesson, right? They're a moral, 
of the story? What can we learn? A popular theme that you read about whether you're in kindergarten or college is to treat others the way you would like to be treated. Theme is what the story teaches us. We're gonna learn a theme from man versus nature. We'll learn about loyalty, mindset, right? Mind over matter in boyhood into, into manhood and many, many more. There's usually no right or wrong answer when it comes to a lesson that you have learned through a text, okay? For next time, I want you to read chapters one, two, and three. Take your time. Go back to that first slide where it gives you the reading strategies, the, the way to connect to the text so that you better understand what is going on. Pay close attention to the setting and the two characters that you're going to be, well, I say Brian and the pilot, but we also get a snippet of mom and dad as well. Um, please pay attention to Brian, who he is now, because Brian is going to grow over the chapters of this text and you're going to watch this transition happen. And something to think about, when have you struggled with something in your life? We've all struggled. Some of our struggles are greater than others. And some of our struggles might not be a big deal to everybody else, but they're a big deal to us. So what did you struggle with? And then on the flip side, how did you overcome this struggle? Okay, something to think about. And it all relates to the text and the chapters that we're going to read. Okay, please reach out if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. We are here, and I am here to specifically walk you through Hatchet by Gary Paulson. Have a great day, boys and girls.